Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I am so excited to jump in today's crafty tutorial because my good friends from Tech Wrap sent me some more gorgeous vinyl that I got to test out today. So I got to play with this vinyl on a Libby beer can glass and I made myself an adorable cup. So if you're curious to see how I made this, then keep watching. All right guys, so this is everything that I'm going to be using for today's tutorial. I have a Libby beer can glass that you can get off of TechRap's website. And then I'm gonna be using three different types of vinyl. I have this black glitter, it's like a shimmery vinyl. The same one, but in white. So it's like a white shimmery glitter one. And then I have this beautiful like pastel rainbow vinyl. And this one is called Candy Rainbow Stripe. And then we're obviously going to be using our Cricut along with Cricut Design Space. So you will also need all of your normal supplies. But I am going to be using some of Tech Wrap's transfer tape along with their cutting mat. And I might need my handy dandy fine point tweezers that I also got from Tech Wrap. And then they also sent me this gorgeous weeding pen. I absolutely love this thing to weed out my vinyl with. And as always, I will be sure to link all of the supply links down in the video description below for you guys. But if you order any of these supplies from the techwrapcraft.com website and you type in Erica 10 at checkout, you will save 10% off of your entire order. All right, you guys, I am so stoked to jump into this craft. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so I'm in Cricut Design Space here on a new blank canvas. So first, I'm gonna go to my little access point over here because I want my grid lines to disappear. And then I'm gonna go to images because we're gonna be creating a design from scratch using nothing but things that we can find on our Cricut Design Space in the image gallery. So I am already in my saved section because I went ahead and saved some images ahead of time. I'm gonna be using this adorable little ghost with sunglasses here. So I'm gonna select that. And then I'm also gonna be using this checkered background. So I'm gonna be selecting that and then I'm gonna go over here and hit add to canvas. Okay, and now I'm going to select my ghost, kind of shrink him down a little bit and get him out of the way. And now we're going to mess with our checkered background first. Okay, so I'm just going to size it to there and then I'm going to hit duplicate and then I'm just going to align it with our other one and then I'm going to duplicate it again. Okay, and now I'm going to select all three and I'm going to weld those so that it cuts that out as one solid piece. And I know I actually need this to be about nine and a half inches wide to be able to fit around our Libby beer can glass. Okay, so that is perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our ghost over our checkered background here. I'm gonna size it accordingly. And then I'm just kind of like eyeing it and centering it up. And we actually don't need this white part of the ghost, but we are going to use it to slice with the checkered background so that we can have a nice little gap in between the checkered background and this outline. So I'm just going to select that checkered background and then I'm also going to select the white part of the ghost and then I'm just gonna hit slice and then I can remove these checkered pieces of the ghost out of the way and now as you can see we are left with our little ghost outline and he has a nice little space in between the checkered background and now I notice that these little pieces on the sunglasses are separate so I'm just going to 
select those, select our ghost outline, and I'm gonna hit slice. And then I'm just going to delete those little pieces. So now it should just cut those out. We are actually going to be using three different vinyls as I was showing you guys earlier. So this is going to be our rainbow vinyl. So I'm just going to change this to a random color. And then we are gonna be cutting out some black vinyl, but we're also gonna be cutting out some white vinyl for the ghost. And you guys will see why shortly. So I'm just going to duplicate that and then change this to white. And then we are ready to cut this all out. So I'm just gonna go to make it. And then as you can see, it sorted our mats by color. So it's going to cut out our white ghost first. And then on the second cut or the second mat, it'll be our checkered background with the rainbow vinyl. And then our last one will be the black ghost. So I'm just gonna hit continue. Okay, so now I'm just going to select vinyl and then I'm going to change my pressure from default to more on all of these. Now I'm ready to put the vinyl on my mat and load it into the Cricut so that we can cut out our vinyl. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be cutting out is our little ghost. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the white shimmer vinyl down on my mat first. All right, you guys, and there is the white shimmer vinyl. So now we're ready to cut out our first little ghost. Okay, so I'm just going to take my little ghost off of the mat here. Okay, so now we're ready to weed out our ghost. I'm just going to take my little weeding pen here. And then I'll probably use my tweezers as well. And for this white shimmer glitter, I only need the inside of the ghost. I don't need this outline here. Now we have our first layer of our ghost with the white shimmer vinyl. So now we are ready to cut out our next layer. And for the next layer, we're just gonna do the background. So our checkered pattern in the candy rainbow stripes. I can't wait to see how this looks all rolled out. All right, you guys, look at this vinyl. Look how gorgeous it is. Ugh, I can't wait to see this on my cup. Okay, now we're ready to weed out the rest. Okay, and now we're gonna load up our black shimmer vinyl so we can cut the second part of our ghost out. Okay, and now we're ready to weed out our ghost. So I'm gonna take out the big parts of the ghost first because that part is going to be white where we used our white shimmer vinyl earlier. Look how cute. 
All right, you guys, so I'm going to start by layering my vinyl with my Tech Wrap transfer tape. So I'm starting with my black shimmer vinyl layer first. And then I'm just gonna use my tweezers to pull up that backing. Okay, so now I'm just gonna overlay this black shimmer vinyl over my white shimmer vinyl. So I'm just gonna take my squeegee and scrape that on there. And then I'm gonna take my tweezers again and peel off that backing there. And then now we're ready to put it on our last layer, which is our gorgeous candy rainbow stripe vinyl where we did the checkered pattern. So now I'm gonna take the squeegee again, and then I'm gonna flip it over and take my squeegee, scrape it across. And then before I take off my backing, I'm just going to verify that this is gonna fit nicely. I mean, it should because I measured it, but you know, rather be safe than sorry. So we're just gonna double check here. Okay, so I have that first section on my cup and I'm just kind of twisting my cup while I'm pulling the backing away from the vinyl underneath. Okay, so I'm just pulling up my transfer tape now and I see a little square that I forgot. So I'm just gonna carefully weed that real quick. All right, you guys, and there's our adorable ghosty cup. Love the colors of that candy rainbow vinyl and can't get over that shimmer vinyl. Look at that shimmer, so pretty. I just can't get over how adorable this is. I absolutely love how this cup came out. It is so adorable and this vinyl is just so gorgeous. So as always, you guys, I will be sure to link all of my supply links down in the video description below, along with that coupon code if you're interested in getting yourself some of this beautiful tech wrap craft vinyl. But I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.